I just moved into my new home and I've never had a really big front porch and I have one now and I was so excited to build a set of giant planter boxes for my front door. So Ash came over here today and we built this DIY cedar planter box. Are you going to call it a tall one? I think it's tall. Yeah, DIY tall cedar planter box. I built it for about $50 in lumber and it's modular, but we'll get to that later. Let's build it. So what is the first step in building these okay. planters, Ashley? The first step to building these planters is building the frame. And we're building the frame out of two by, these are two by fours that I cut into two by twos because it's a lot cheaper than buying a two by two. Also good two by twos are so hard to find. Oh, yeah. They're always like, good luck. And They're if like you get this. the pine, I mean, what is it? Like $12 or something? Yeah. That's all. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> Um, and then I've also got four <laughs> rungs that we're going to, going to attach them together with. But we rungs? have to, rungs. They're like ladder rungs, right? Sure. Okay, we have these pieces of wood. These are the rungs <laughs> for the carcass. <laughs> I haven't I mean, used the word rung, and the doorbell just rung. Like. Ding <laughs> dong. No, I like rungs. I was just kidding. These are rungs. Yeah. These cross pieces are going to go between the legs. We need to drill one and a half inch pocket holes in each end. You can see right here, Ash has added one and a half inch pocket holes on both ends of her rungs. So we have our legs. We have our rungs with our pocket holes, and now I have already gone and made a mark where all of these are gonna go, and we're gonna attach them together so that we have a nice solid frame to put our slats on. And we're gonna use wood glue and two and a half inch blue Craig screws, because they're for outdoor. Cool. You don't have to put the planter outside, but if you do. Yeah, if you have a cute porch, you don't have to because it's gonna be under the porch. So we are attaching a rung to two boards, two of the legs at 24 inches with wood glue and two and a half inch pocket holes. So is it okay that my pocket holes are facing this and yeah, yours, doesn't it does, that doesn't matter. Okay, wanted to be sure. Uh, that part does not matter. Here's the, here, where did the, Jeffrey, you wanna grab the big daddy drill down there by your feet? I don't know, but have we even started? No, not really. <laughs> so we both have one side of a frame with one rung at the bottom. Now we're going to attach them together with two more rungs. And this is kind of where you put your rungs doesn't really matter. Um, it kind of, these are gonna be shelves on the inside so that you can lift um, your potted plant up or down if you want to. So. You can put multiple rungs on here because the slats are just going to sit on them. So the, where you put them doesn't matter. I just guesstimated where I wanted mine. I am going to attach these at 12 and a half inches with two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue like before. And you do not have to remember these measurements because we have them listed we have for you. Inaccurate plans on our website. Just follow Thanks. that link. <laughs> Don't look at them too closely. We might forget a few things or have some typos, but that's why they're free. Okay, okay we're so done. now we're going to... And just like that, our planters are we're done. done. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some wood glue on the top of these rungs and we're going to attach them to the other frame so that we have a full frame. I'm happy we're building one of these today. Yeah, same. Two more pocket holes. Gotta flip her over. Okay, so we've got the frame done, and the way that this works is we will have, let me show you, we're gonna have two shelf pieces, and you can set them either on the bottom shelf or you can set them on the top shelf once the planter's done. And that way, if you have different heights of planter boxes, you can, um, or different heights of plants, you can adjust it that way. So that's why I was saying that the rungs are really you can put them wherever you want to on the inside. Now the idea is to wrap all of the sides with cedar planks. And to save money, I used eight foot, five and a half inch wide 
cedar fence posts. It was a lot cheaper and I didn't have to rip them down or anything. So it was super easy and inexpensive. Always the goal. Always. I also love the smell of cedar, mm -hmm. but not a lot. Like I like it. Um, out, I don't want it in my house, but I love it outside. So I have already cut these down at my house before I came over. These are the cedar fence posts. You can get six cuts out of one fence post. So um, it just goes a long way and it's inexpensive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top and, which is right here, and we're going to use wood glue and three quarter inch outdoor screws to attach these cedar planks to each side. And how many screws are you using on each side? Two. Two? Okay. It may be overkill, but the great thing about this is that it leaves a lot of room for <laughs> error because, you know, these fence posts are not all the same width and I didn't rip them to the same width, but we're putting trim all around them. So if you make them flush at the top and there's a little bit of a gap at the bottom, that's okay. It's going to be covered with trim. All right. So I'm using the quick clip, the Craig quick clip on I was, and just took Sorry, all the boards away. Glue. <laughs> <laughs> so we are just laying these out side by side down the length of the first side. And we're going to do this on all four sides. So two of two sides, I cut down shorter to for the width. And then the other set, you can measure to cut before, but they're going to cover the edges of those. And it doesn't even have to be perfect because we're trimming everything out. <laughs> I love, that's like the theme of all of this. Like it doesn't, there's so much room for error. Like you can totally screw this, the crap out of this thing. These Nobody are, will ever know. These are the doesn't matter. <laughs> this is the doesn't matter build. Doesn't matter planters. So we have one side done. We're gonna flip this over to the opposite side and do the same shorter planks on that side. So we're gonna do the same size up here and then we're gonna get the longer ones and put them right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Ugly side. So both sides, both of the short sides are done. So we're gonna flip this over on an open side. And I suggest measuring and cutting this to make sure you get the right length. We did, I didn't have that luxury because I needed to save time. So I've cut mine to size and they fit perfectly. But if they did it, it wouldn't really matter. It wouldn't really matter because so. we're trimming it. <laughs> this planter is called the It Doesn't Really Matter planter. Mm, it matters. It matters. It matters also, to me. Also. Okay, so I keep saying it doesn't really matter. The only thing that doesn't matter either. So I keep saying it doesn't really matter. The only thing that does matter is I would make sure that you get this these first boards flush with the top of your legs because we are not covering that part of the planter. And then as you're working your way down, if you do have boards that are a little bit different in width, just try to make sure that you're lining them up as best as possible so it's like a seamless look around the sides. But if you can't, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> all right, so we have all four sides done. That was like the most time consuming part. So now we are going to add the trim and the trim is the same cedar fence planks that I, look at that one, it's a little wonky. Um, I ripped them down to two and a half inches wide because I could get two, I, I came up with that number because I could get two boards out of one cedar plank with that. So we're gonna measure and cut for these to fit on the long sides first and we'll need eight of these. And we're gonna attach them with wood glue and brad nails. All right, so I've put the wood glue down. This is the top up here, and I am putting my first piece of trim to where it runs flush with the outside plank, and it covers up that edge. And I'm just gonna use nails to attach. We have finished putting on the trim. It looks like one solid piece around the corners and we are measuring and cutting our top and bottom trim pieces to fit. And that is all we are going to do. Times eight or just four? Times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight.
So we have added all the trim. We're done, but I'm gonna show you the secret sauce of this. <laughs> Stand by. Okay, so remember, we put the rungs between the legs. Now, we have these two boards that I've already cut down to size and I ripped them to five inches wide. Watch this magic. If you've got a tall planter pot, you can say, oh, I'm gonna put my shelves down there. You say, oh, I've got a little short 12 inch pot. You move them right here. It's a modular. It's a, a mozzing. <laughs> a mozzing modular. So that's what that's why I said you can put as many rungs as you want. Um, and you can put them at different levels if you want, and that way you always have the right height of shelf and you don't have to like stack it with bricks and pieces of wood and stuff. So. I love it so much. What is your plan for the finish? Um, so I think I'm going to give it like a very light, natural stain you over You could even it. just put a top coat, like a weather coat, you know? That's a good idea. Because I love the finish like it is. We'll see what I end up doing with it. Um, and we're in the season of fall now, so I'm so excited to put some little Christmas trees for the front porch inside of it. I think it'll be so cool. Oh, I love that. That'll be cute with your front door. I love how they turned out on your front porch, Ashley. I'm so excited about them. I love the finish that I chose, and I can't wait to put different plants in it for each season. Y'all be sure to subscribe. You do not want to miss another video. Happy, Happy building. building. So we're going to be using the Craig Quit Flip. <laughs> We we are oh. <laughs> so here DIY when you when you rip your boards the wrong way and you put your pocket holes in on the wrong side. I don't think we're getting anywhere. And we are measuring and cutting to fit. <laughs> Hold on. Do you want one more? <laughs> pew. <laughs> pew pew. <laughs> My Brad nailer makes <laughs> when I shoot it. What if you could like? What if you could like die like <laughs> like, like a phone, digi like a ring. digitize it? <laughs> oh, that oh see that's God. it's the it's the blue screen. It's the blue coats. They do it every time. <laughs> the blue coats are coming. <laughs> okay, hold on. So if I have a really tall plant with a big planter, uh, planter pot. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh. I, knew. I, I, I only knew it would happen because of your confidence. I was like, it's going to be just a little bit too long. It worked on the other one. <laughs> Look at that magic. She was way too excited for it to work out. Um, we forgot a whole side of top trim. You didn't see it in this part. It's okay. We'll do it later. <laughs> Sorry. It, do it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. matter. <laughs> this will be the other back side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we should forget the tripod more often. 